Penny Singleton, a notable figure in classic Hollywood, left an undeniable mark on the entertainment landscape. Her extensive body of work prompts one to ponder which project truly defined her career. Whether it's a particular role or a memorable moment from performances that lingers in memory, Singleton's impact is unquestionable. Share your thoughts on the standout moments below. We're eager to hear your stories. Stay tuned as we unravel some intriguing, funny, shocking, and even sad facts about this Hollywood icon. Keep watching for a journey through her career that may surprise you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic Hollywood actor? Let us know in the comments below. And now, without further ado, let's dive into the fascinating world of Singleton. Penny Singleton left an indelible mark on the film industry during her era and beyond, making noteworthy contributions that shaped Hollywood. Best known for her role as the voice of Jane Jetson in the iconic animated series The Jetsons, she impacted the industry beyond the confines of the screen. During her time, Singleton exhibited a versatile talent that went beyond acting. Her ability to infuse depth into characters and bring them to life on both the big screen and television screens contributed significantly to the evolving landscape of entertainment. Her influence, however, was not limited to performances. Actively participating in shaping the industry, she became a trailblazer, breaking barriers and paving the way for future generations of actresses. Singleton's enduring legacy lies in her role as the quintessential Jane Jetson, a character that became a cultural touchstone. This showcased her knack for portraying strong, independent women in a changing society, playing a pivotal role in the representation of female characters in animation and film, reflecting the evolving dynamics of gender roles. Beyond on-screen presence, her impact reached into the business side of Hollywood. Singleton's resilience and determination in navigating the complexities of the entertainment industry left an indelible mark on Hollywood's trajectory. Her multifaceted contributions, both on and off screen, played a crucial role in shaping the industry during her era and continue to resonate today. In conclusion, her influence on the film industry transcended the characters she portrayed. The legacy she left serves as a testament to the transformative power of talent and tenacity in the world of entertainment. Penny Singleton's career is marked by a series of notable milestones and achievements. Best known for her iconic portrayal of the lovable and feisty Blondie Bumstead in the long-running film series based on the comic strip she soared during her time in the industry. She first gained widespread recognition for her role as Blondie in the film Blondie in the late 1930s, a character she would go on to portray in 28 films. Her impeccable comedic timing and endearing charm made her synonymous with the character, earning her a special place in the hearts of audiences. The pinnacle of her career came with the film Blondie Goes to College, showcasing her adaptability as she seamlessly transitioned the character into new settings. This movie not only highlighted her acting prowess, but also demonstrated her enduring appeal as the series continued to captivate audiences. In addition to her work as Blondie, she ventured into other notable projects, including her role as the voice of Jane Jetson in the animated series The Jetsons. Her distinctive voice brought the futuristic character to life, adding another dimension to her already impressive career. Throughout her time in the industry, Singleton received acclaim for her contributions, earning a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in recognition of her impact on the world of entertainment. Her legacy is further solidified by the lasting popularity of the Blondie film series and her timeless contributions to animated television. In summary, her career was marked by the memorable portrayal of Blondie Bumstead, spanning numerous films and showcasing her versatility in the industry. The enduring legacy and impact on both live action and animated entertainment make her a true icon in the history of cinema. Aunt-in-law of Susan McFarlane, Penny Singleton played a pivotal role in labor history as the first woman president of an AFL-CIO union. Notably, she led the first strike of the Radio City Music Hall Rockettes in 1966, securing improved working conditions for the performers. Her influence extended beyond the screen, leaving an indelible mark on the labor movement. Breaking barriers, Singleton's presidency set a precedent challenging traditional gender roles in labor unions. The strike she led at Radio City Music Hall marked a turning point, fostering better working conditions for the Rockettes. Penny Singleton's contribution as a union leader was both significant and enduring. Her actions resonate in the annals of labor history, reflecting her commitment to positive change. 
This aspect of her career sheds light on a lesser known facet of her impactful journey. Notably absent from the 2004 Oscar in memoriam video montage, despite her prolific film career, Penny Singleton's contribution to the entertainment industry went unacknowledged on that occasion. Beyond the screen, she was connected to cinematographer Ray Flynn as his sister-in-law. Her family included daughters named Dorothy and Susan. While her name may not have been featured in that particular Oscar tribute, her impact in the film world was considerable. The familial connection with Ray Flynn adds a personal layer to her cinematic journey. Meanwhile, as a mother to daughters Dorothy and Susan, she provides insight into another dimension of her life. These lesser-known aspects contribute to a more comprehensive understanding of Penny Singleton extending beyond the spotlight of her filmography. Despite the oversight in 2004, her connection to Ray Flynn and her role as a mother shed light on the personal and familial aspects of her life, enriching the narrative of her multifaceted career in the film industry. Elected president of Ajivia in 1969, Singleton assumed a pivotal role in the entertainment industry's labor landscape. This marked a significant milestone in her career, showcasing commitment to the welfare of variety artists. In 1950, she took charge of her own program, The Penny Singleton Show, on NBC Radio. This venture not only highlighted her versatility as a performer, but also underscored presence in the broadcasting realm during that era. In 1958, invited to run for a position on the national board of a GVA, Singleton faced disputes with administrative officers. Despite this, she not only secured the highest vote in the union's history, but also climbed the AG via hierarchy. Her tenure included a term as president from 1958 to 1959. However, outspoken nature led to legal troubles in 1959 as she publicly criticized actors union exec Jackie Bright, resulting in suspension from the union. The tumultuous journey within AG Via concluded on February 27, 1964, when Singleton was reinstated to the board and received a 15,000 settlement. This episode showcased resilience and determination in navigating the complexities of the entertainment industry's labor dynamics. Experiences in AG Via provide a unique lens into the challenges faced by variety artists and the intricacies of labor relations during Singleton's time. This aspect of her career adds depth to the narrative, offering a closer look at the dynamics shaping the journey in the world of entertainment. The distinctive voice of Jane Jetson in The Jetsons and subsequent animated movies left an indelible mark on the world of animation. Known for her unique vocal talent, she continued to portray Jane Jetson in various animated movies and specials, solidifying her role in the iconic series. Her contributions to the world of animation extended beyond the screen. Awarded two stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, her recognition in both the radio and motion pictures categories highlights enduring impact on the entertainment industry. The stars, located at 68811 Hollywood Boulevard for radio and 65147 Hollywood Boulevard for motion pictures in Hollywood, California, stand as a testament to significant contributions in both realms. Additionally, as the aunt of Kevin McNulty, familial connections provide a personal dimension to her life. Beyond professional achievements, family ties add another layer to the narrative, showcasing a more personal side. From voicing Jane Jetson to earning stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and maintaining familial connections, her influence reverberates through various facets of the entertainment industry, marking a unique and impactful journey. Honored with a Doctor of Fine Arts degree from St. John's University in 1974, Singleton's academic recognition added another dimension to her accomplished career. Beyond professional achievements, familial ties were woven into the narrative, with Singleton being the sister of Barney McNulty and June McNulty. Most notably remembered for bringing the comic strip character Blondie to life, her portrayal left an enduring mark. Over the span of 1938-1950, she starred in 28 movies within this series, solidifying her place in the entertainment industry. Her multifaceted career extended beyond the screen with a distinctive role in the iconic animated series The Jetsons. Voicing Jane Jetson, she earned two stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, one for radio at 68811 Hollywood Boulevard and another for motion pictures at 65147 Hollywood Boulevard in California. Adding a personal touch to the journey, Singleton had familial connections, being the aunt of Kevin McNulty. Despite an oversight in the 2004 Oscar in memoriam, her impact in the film world was considerable. 
Singleton's leadership role in the AFL-CIO union marked by the historic Radio City Music Hall Rockettes strike in 1966 reflected commitment to labor history. Her tenure as president of Agivia in 1969 showcased a pivotal role in shaping the entertainment industry's labor landscape. As a mother to daughters Dorothy and Susan, she provided insight into another dimension of life. The tumultuous journey within AGVA, including legal troubles in 1959, highlighted resilience and determination in navigating the complexities of the entertainment industry's labor dynamics. Contributions spanned academia, film, animation, and labor leadership, creating a comprehensive understanding of the impactful journey. From the portrayal of Blondie to leading labor movements and earning stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, the influence reverberates through various facets of the entertainment industry. A charter member of the Hollywood Republican Committee, Penny Singleton actively campaigned for Republicans Thomas E. Dewey in 1948 and Richard Nixon in 1960. These political engagements showcased a different facet of her life beyond the entertainment industry. Despite her Hollywood connections, Singleton aligned herself with the Republican Party, participating in key campaigns during pivotal moments in American politics. Her involvement in the Hollywood Republican Committee and support for candidates like Dewey and Nixon adds a layer of political engagement to her diverse journey. This aspect, distinct from her roles in film, animation, and labor leadership, highlights the breadth of Penny Singleton's experiences beyond the screen, demonstrating a multifaceted persona.